Hello! Um, I wanted to share with you something I just found out um, about the Ukraine. Um, so we know that um, Russia is invading the Ukraine as we speak. It's been awful. So we are today the 4th of March. And uh, I am... Um, I got some report directly from the grounds there that God is doing amazing things in the middle of the most horrific situations. Um, uh, so this is an encouraging word for everyone um, that no matter what our situation, that when we seek God, we pray, we ask, he answers. And uh, so I know this pastor, uh, Pastor Neil, from a Zoom group that I attend on Fridays um, directly from Geneva. And the people that gather uh, were often like 20, 20 to 30 people. Um, and from all over the world, so the hosts are from Geneva, but there's people from the United States. I connected with this group from Times Square Church in New York. And we have uh, different people like um, the, the beautiful man that does the praise, the worship. He's from Tanzania, so there's also uh, different uh people from um, Africa. So today uh, I was on the Zoom and that's when Pastor Neil told us something amazing. So he went to Ukraine with his wife years ago, maybe 10 years ago, to build a church. And this church happens to be like on the far side, close to the border with Poland. And soon after it was built, they left. He felt like the Lord told them to go back to the United States. And they were at the time a little bit like, oh, this is weird. Why? <laughs> like they felt like they had to leave. And now he's telling us that many, many people are passing through that same church that he helped to build to uh, get showers, to sleep, to, to just to um, get a little strength before they cross over to Poland. So God is doing marvelous things with his people. And, uh, you know, how, how wonderful it is to find out years later that God had a plan because, you know, how it says he, he sees everything. He knows the beginning from the end. And he also told us, Pastor Neil, about this, this story that blew his mind of um, he got a call because somebody knew he knew people in the Ukraine and that this older woman, um, uh, she was still in Kiev. And that, you know, does anybody have a way for her to leave, to bring her food? She's running out of food. And um, so he, Pastor Neil, contacted somebody that's there. And uh, apparently a lot of people had already left. But they knew of a couple that was still there. Somebody knew of a couple that was still there. So it was like from one person to the next, the next reached the couple. The couple said, who is it? Like, what's the name of this lady? It turned out that they were already helping her. They were feeding her already. And now they helped make a way for her to, to leave. And how wonderful that God is, is doing the impossible. He is, is um, uh, bringing people to safety. A last one that's coming to mind that he mentioned that there was some kind of bomb, something fell. Okay, so there was this car full of people fleeing. And this shrapnel came and, and hit the car. The car got destroyed. 
but every single person in the car survived without a scratch, they're fine. So another uh, uh, testimony of what is happening right now in Ukraine of how God sends his angels to protect his people, makes a way to, to get food to the people that, that you would think like uh, this, this elder lady, she had no one. Her daughter from, from somewhere else, I think from the United States, was like, oh, I got try to find some help and God was already helping her. And how wonderful, uh, um, I just want to praise God and I want to pray for all the people um, in Ukraine. Father God, thank you for um, um, showing us how you're always at work uh, that we can trust in you, we can count on you, even in the hardest of times. Father God, keep on continue to protect your people in the Ukraine, the civilians. Also help and protect the civilians in Russia. And Lord, we know that all around the world right now, there is much conflict, wars, rumors of wars in many, many places. And Lord, so we pray for those countries, Lord. Help them. Um, uh, may uh, your people that are on in, in those places help others, uh, feed them, clothe them, protect them. Um, Lord, you are the light of the world and you are shining bright at this moment. And Lord, we come, we praise you and we thank you for this good report. And Lord, um, um, I pray for the safety of your people, Lord, all around the world. And uh, Lord, for those who don't know you to come to know you. Your saving grace, your goodness, your mercies. And uh, they last forever, we know. And um, uh, may the gospel of peace continue to be preached all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Um, so thank you, uh, for, for, uh, being here. Uh, I wanted to quickly, uh, read Psalm 16. Oh Lord, you are my portion and my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot. This is Psalms 16, starting at verse five and now six. The lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good inheritance. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. My heart also instructs me in the right in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh also will rest in hope. For you will not leave my soul in Sheol, nor will you allow your holy ones to see corruption. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you and keep you in his peace. Amen.